correct, you know. Well, hey guys, we are live from my basement here at 7 p.m. Central as advertised. We've got Chris Palomares and Matt Gentry. Matt Gentry, <laughs> sorry, it's been a long day here in my basement. <laughs> Been uh, running around, my computer crashed today, so it's been very, very, uh, very, very hectic. And I just had a little bit of a brain fart. Hopefully, the only one of the evening. But uh, they are here with an announcement, a locomotive announcement that we've been hyping for a while. I know some of you guys uh, did not like uh, too much hype, but the day has finally arrived here at the end of July to announce the locomotive from Atherin. So I'm going to give it to Chris and Matt and let you guys talk about the locomotive that you are announcing and then we'll show details here. Well, we're going to preface it by going over a couple bullet points of some of the new features of the new Genesis locomotives. We have uh, LED headlights. LED lights all around. LED lights all around, uh, including the ground lights above the trucks, oh. underneath the cab, pointing downward. Ground lights, dish lights, number boards. Right. And headlights. So that's a new feature. Another new feature on this Genesis mm -hmm. model in particular is see-through steps. Yeah. So we're, we're bringing in some signature components to the Genesis mm -hmm. line, some new signature components, and we're really interested in, you know, moving moving our models more towards the, this level of detail in the Genesis line. So let's turn it over to the new model. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are the, are the fans <laughs> ready. ready for this? Okay. <laughs> We're presenting the, the new Athern SD60E. When we're going to be doing four row numbers, the first uh, of which is 6939, there's going to be two additional row numbers that will go on our website starting tomorrow, I'd say tomorrow morning. And we're also pulling out one of the, the special paint, and that is the 911 honoring first responders. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just want to show off the the black one. And this this is um, our first test test shots of this model. Um, we haven't gotten um, complete reviews done, and this is a first hand painted sample as well. <clears throat> so it's not factory fresh by any means, but it's still an excellent excellent representation. Can you guys Can turn you the camera? Turn the camera? Yeah. I knew I'd forget. <laughs> We're kind of letting the model do the talking right now. <laughs> <clears throat> this will be also available in DCC ready with a 21 pin for people that like other sound decoders other than soundtracks. So that option is available to us. Right. You said the uh, first responders decor or decorated uh, first responders unit will be on? Yes, 911 will be in the first run. And okay. uh, yeah, we'll look for it as a, kind of our flagship product. Somebody had a question, but I don't know if I caught it. Will the ditch lights in the rear flash? We're still working out some of the electronics. Um, we hope to have the rear ditch lights flashing, um, but we aren't promising that yet. Um, they will definitely be lit mm -hmm. and directional, um, but uh, the jury's still out on the flashing. Uh, the front ditch lights will be flashing as per the prototype, so no problem there. And somebody asked 6920, will that be a road number that's in your first release? No, 6939, 6952, and I forget. 6906. 6906. I know you guys have never heard this question before, but uh, LEDs in the model? Yes. yes, LEDs everywhere. LEDs everywhere. There you have it. <laughs> LED. Todd, uh, Veterans Unit, probably. I'm guessing it's going to happen eventually. That's just me speculating. But they said in the first run it'll just be 911, 911, and yeah. then three black units. Yeah. Uh, we we do also have this one doesn't show the PTC antenna array, 
but 911 will have that out of the first right. batch here. So some of the different variant details that we have for this is, of course, like Chris mentioned, the PTC antenna array, uh -huh. which will be on the roof, as usual. Um, some of the different variants also, uh, there were different uh, grab irons going up the nose. Yeah. So there's this version, which has the 90 degree angle in it. And then there's the more traditional version that just goes straight to the mounting point. Um, the sides, the louvers on the panels uh, where the air conditioner is and things like that, they had about two or three different versions of these uh, louver arrangements. And so we've been able to replicate all of those versions. Um, the different cab window arrangements, they had the rectangular or they had the rounded windows. We've got both versions of those. Um, Somebody asked about, let's see, bearing caps moving. Wire handrails. No, the, the handrails are still plastic and the bearing caps will not be rotating on this version. I asked about go rail. They said the cab looks like it's coming off, but I think it's the tilt that's in the actual prototype, right? Right. The the tilt is and and like I mentioned, these are first test shots. So we're still yeah. trying to get some of the fit and finish to be perfect. It will be right on yeah. the final release. All right. Um Another big uh, detail is the uh, kick plate. You'll notice that 6939 has no kick plate here in the um, handrail. And let me ch turn that for uh, uh, the train world audience. Here on the kick plate, there's no uh, on the um, handrails. There's no kick plate on the walkway, um, but there's four different versions. There's um, no no kick plate. There's a solid kick plate. There's a solid kick plate with the um, uh, holes going across the bottom of it. And then there's the version with the little horse heads in it. That is for Norfolk Southern. And we have all four versions for the prototype. Um, another uh, detail about the handrails is um, the crews on these locomotives have complained about the um, extreme vibration and noise levels in them. And what uh, the shops are doing is they are disconnecting the handrails from the side of the cab to isolate the cab from the handrails. And so we will also be able to do that version as well. Um, this is uh, shown as rebuilt by Norfolk Southern straight out of the shop. So no PTC farm. Um, the handrails are attached to the cab and no uh, kick plate on the handrails. Um, we do have um, the 36 inch fan for the um, inertial intake. Uh, we've been able to replicate that correctly. Um, <clears throat> the angle for the dynamic brake intake, we have replicated that for the prototype. Um, I uh, was at the Juniata locomotive shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and this is based on accurate measurements from the prototype. I've climbed all over the locomotive and it is as accurate as possible. The uh, folks are asking the question, does this mean the SD50 and 60 series will be upgraded to Genesis line? We're still considering that. Um, it is getting higher on the list. Um, right now, they, uh, with the latest announcement, they are still in the RTR line at this time. Um, one more 360 for Ken here. Another uh, uh, Norfolk Southern specific is the brake stick holder on either side. We have the brake stick holders on the walkways, molded onto the walkways. And then another key spotting feature of the SD60E is the uh, junction boxes on the engineer side of the walkway. We have both of those correct also. <laughs> So guys, I see a lot of questions about the responders, go rail and veterans unit. Responders is the only one getting announced. Uh, I might get in trouble for this, but just speculating that if they're doing something kind of narrow niche, they're probably gonna do the other ones later. <laughs> but that's just my speculation. But right now, uh, the only announcement is the 911 in the special pits, so. Yeah, we're not gonna do everything at once because we gotta come back and do more black ones and we got some other stuff up our sleeve on this. So um, the first out of the gate are the four 
road numbers, mm -hmm. the 911, 6906, 6939, and 6952. Somebody 6952. asked um, ESU or Soundtracks? The factory equipped uh, sound decoder will be Soundtracks, but we do have a 21 pin for anyone that's interested in Mozart. Will so. there be undeck or unnumbered? Uh, uh, and first run? We'll, we'll consider it. Yeah. Not in the first run, but we'll consider it. All right. I'm gonna I'm plastering these guys with all your comments. So <laughs> okay, checking them out here. Uh, oh, and uh, also the electronic parking brake. I forgot to mention that the recess in the back of the long hood for the controls of the electronic parking brake, <clears throat> and and the chain detail on the truck. Oh man. And these are retooled side frames on this locomotive. So many angry faces, guys. A lot of angry faces and sad faces. I don't know if that's. What I'm, I'm not sure what the reason for those are. That was, uh, because I haven't mentioned that these are rubber MU hoses on there, so they won't break. Oh, rubber yeah. MU. Yeah, that's a small feature, but it's still a feature. Hey, if you guys, I actually am curious. I see a bunch of sad faces and a bunch of tears. You can comment what the uh, concern is, and maybe it's something they can address. You know, at these early stages, maybe not, but. I'd like to uh, give you guys the opportunity to let your voices get heard about that. So, <clears throat> see, I'm going to give a little bit of attention. Let's see if we can get some close ups for train world here. There we go. There we go. Operating a lot of cameras here, so bear with me. A little bit of shakiness. <laughs> it's not my standard uh, camera with the fluid lens that takes out all my shakiness. <laughs> Is the kick plate on different road numbers? Yes. Yeah, okay. the, the kick, it depends on the prototype and what research we do as to which kick plate the model will get. When are they looking at release? We're, we're scheduled to deliver in December. Okay. Of this year, not next year. <laughs> Get my 2017, December 2017 is the tentative delivery plan for these locomotives. To Get my pre-order in with Trainwall because I think these puppies are going to sell out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're prospectively buying on these, so there's going to be limited quantity available for SKU. Oh, based on pre-orders to a certain extent? Um, A little bit, but oh. it's, we're going to be once we put in the order for these after these close, they'll definitely be locked into some numbers here. Yep. And can you just go over the LEDs and the um, the sound one more time for uh, people just tuning in? The locomotive, uh, all the lights are LED lights, uh, front and rear ditch lights, uh, the headlight front and rear, the number boards are lit with LEDs, and the um, uh, ground lights just above the trucks are LED lights as well. And the these will come with factory equipped Tsunami 2 sound by Soundtracks. So there you guys have it. A lot of people have been asking for uh, Atherin LEDs. And uh, it's, a, it's happening. Looks pretty good. Oh. Thanks, Ken. Another view of the top. Yeah, camera's getting stuck. But, uh, so view of the top for you guys. Whoever painted this is a masterful painter. <laughs> I think so. It's really good, Ken. Maybe one day I'll aspire to be this good if I can ever stop doing all these videos. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, MU hoses will be rubber. That's a new thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. On the yeah. sample, they are rubber, so I can. Oh, cool. I can play with those all night long. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. That's a. It's probably an industry first. I don't think anybody else does rubber hoses. I don't know. 
I'm know. not sure. I've never seen it. But it, it was just something that just came out of necessity because, mm -hmm. you know, you put them in a pro tower west box, you take them to a train layout, and, you know, inevitably something gets kind of caught on a piece of foam at the end of it. So it, 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 would, it just made sense. We wanted to enhance the, you know, the longevity of our details, you know. Somebody said lit step lights. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not on this model. Maybe one day in the future. That's still something that's uh, maybe one day yet to be done. Greg, I'll, I'll pull it around and we can uh, we can show the the post flexing a little bit more. Yeah, Chris. Any um, thoughts about the sixty nine twenty vets unit? Yeah, we'll we'll look at a future uh, future runs to do some of the additional paint schemes. Is this old rail power tooling? <laughs> No, this no. is all <laughs> this is all brand new tooling. Ground up. Yeah. Everything's new on it. All right, we got a good one. You can show the flex on this. I'm gonna move it to the side here. It's just my finger is so fat I I don't have like a thing to show properly there, but you can see the One, two. No, not not two plus years from now. We're we're cranking out some of these locomotives a little bit more regularly. These this first batch we're looking at December of this year, so that won't be two plus years. And then we'll be look, positioned to make another announcement for the second run after that. So the undex, they said they'd consider it. Um, I saw a question about that. I realize I'm missing a lot of your questions. Squeaky wheel gets the oil, so if you guys have a question that's just burning, just keep asking it because it's very hard for me to kind of operate two cameras and thumb through the questions. There's Sorry, no, James. No, no BN. Oh, no problem. Glad to help you guys. Uh, there's no BN version, I don't think, because it's not. Nope. This is strict. BN never had this. this is strict How much will they sir. cost MSRP? Or? MSRP uh, for DCC ready, we're looking at 219.98, and then the the DCC with sound version is 309.98, sure. and this is with the LEDs installed and all the additional um, lighting functions available with it. Right. Tsunami 2, so, so yes. this will be tsunami. Tsunami, two. tsunami 2 LEDs, lighting functions, 309.98 for sound. But of course, as you guys hear me say, almost like a broken record, there's discounts at online hobby shops. And, yeah, I'm sorry, online retailers and brick and mortar hobby shops. Yep. Here, let me position this a little bit more in the center for everybody. I'll stop turning it. Road numbers, there's going to be 911, 6906, responders, 6906, 6939, 6952. 6952. Is DCC ready not LED equipped? No, that'll be LED. What are that'll be? All of them are LED. All of them will be LEDs, yes. Yeah. Yep. I don't know who Twail is, but some guy keeps telling them to calm down. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Blower housing. Getting kind of good view of the blower housing right now. Yep. I missed the 199 price. Do you all plan to make NS? Oh, I missed that one. I went too fast. <laughs> uh, SD60E in this only. Yep, you're correct. Yes. Right now there's 138, I believe, 137, something like that. Well, all locos come with LEDs now, <laughs> which are announced. We're still looking for the best way to proceed with that. Um, okay. It is definitely at the top of our list, though. Mark Farisher hates it, just so you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Um, <laughs> Glad I worked so hard for it. <laughs> is the cab is roof it? removable? Yes, the cab roof is removable. Let's see that. With oh, there you go. cab interior. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my orientation with this thing. Any and plans for SD60M? Based off of this, 
Possibly. Yeah, we're, we're definitely considering it. Yeah. We're not going to say no. We're not going to say yes. And um, like I mentioned, you know, there's over 130 of these, so that will lead us into the 7,000 series as well. I think they're up to 7,037 right now, I believe. They just completed 7037 this year, <laughs> actually last month. The um, so. Hey, guys, don't mind if I turn this for some of our okay. viewers over there? And they can show the graph a little bit more. We've got about tight, three yeah. different live streams going, folks. So <laughs> sorry for any inadvertent camera motions. If you get to see my hairy arm up close and stuff like that, it's just a mistake. It's full of shrubbery now. It's shrubbery, yeah. Call the yeah. shrubber. I never glued this stuff down. <laughs> I thought it was going to be moving soon, but that's pretty cool. The cab comes off with the windshield. Yes. So. You get a really easy look into the cab and easily place figures if you want to and even mess with window tents and stuff like that if you want to so very cool yeah but wait there's more i mean wait, wait, wait. we have we have more, some more stuff to show <clears throat> bring me on jersey saying hi to people walkway lights no 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 that's a uh, oh um we do have the, uh, the four different fuel tanks for these. Um, uh, this is the this is the Norfolk Southern Rebuilt 4,000 gallon fuel tank on this sample here. If uh, you show the silhouette, James, oh, yeah, you can show that. Um, this is the rebuilt version with the angled sides on it. So <laughs> convertible, that's cool. <laughs> Air conditioning. Yeah. So um, since these are Secondhand SD60s, there's four different fuel tanks. There's the EMD 3800 gallon, 3900 gallon, excuse me. Uh, the NS rebuilt 4000 gallon fuel tank. And the EMD, I think it's a 4500 gallon fuel tank, and the EMD 4800 gallon fuel tank. We will be able to represent all four versions. Will the LEDs be surface mount or tubes? The, right now, the headlights, and number boards and um, ground lights above the trucks are surface mount and the um, LEDs in the ditch lights will be individually installed ditch lights, uh, LEDs. So actually if you flip that over James, you can see the, the PCB will mount right in here. So since we have a lot of Norfolk Southern fans on here, how about one more thing? We, we, have, we brought along paint samples, too, of the new ES44 DCs. This would make a good companion to this locomotive. Where's NS? DC'd up. And when it doesn't want to be itself, it can put on the SD60 so mask. You wear it like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. It's, a, All right, it's yeah. a Halloween party. I won't hold it against you for too long. Masquerade party. I'll just talk about you and be hungry. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they asked about um, the cab tilt again. First of all, this is a pre-production sample. Yes. It does look like it's sitting a little little up, but there's, you know, these are kinks that get worked out in the early productions. And um, but in general, it does have a slight tilt to it anyway. Prototype. But yeah, it's, uh, I see it's just kind of hanging right. there, but that's also because it's, you know, they're working out kinks and stuff like that in the shell. Yeah, this, so. this is the very first painted sample ever. Yep. So it will be fixed in production. Yeah. I will promise that. Yep. And let's see, we'll turn the turn, we'll turntable, ran a white thing here. Yeah, they'll, they'll do two locomotives at once now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me uh, and this pull is, over here. This is the early version uh, DC. So this is, uh, I think, some of the uh, first orders that Norfolk Southern took for the ES40 DC. Are you going behind me? I'm going to go behind you real quick. All right. I just didn't get the memo that I'm a UP monitor. <laughs> UP gets these. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Any other locos? Let's see how much will sound units be? Let's see, we already covered that. 30998 MSRP, probably looking at mid, maybe even high twos. I think, honestly, guys, this is just me talking. I 
kind of bounced it off Chris there earlier in the live broadcast. I think this is something that you will need to pre-order. I'm just as yeah. bad about it as everybody else is. I kind of wait around, see if I can get it to the last minute to decide, you know, what's going on. Do I want to do a review, et cetera? But I think uh, it would be highly suggested, that, especially the 911 unit. That's just me talking. Yeah. Um, you're probably going to want to pre-order that. Yeah. Um, a lot of the specialty paint scheme ones kind of, um, the, they, they fill out quick. Yes. So. <clears throat> the PTC roof, is that going to come as a removable, like the SD70 Aces, with both non- Non PTC and with the PTC roof. You want to show it off? Um, we have the PTC version. Um, as to whether we're going to include it with the models at the time of delivery, uh, we're, we're still working that part out. Uh, well, Train World Curry DCC ready version. Ken? It, yes. Okay. Uh, there you go, Charles. Train World will Curry uh, DCC ready version. See, uh, main model works is commenting as well. Let's see, so they get details. James, they want to see it run on your layout. <laughs> this, is, this is a non uh, sound or non just a dummy symbol right now for this. Yeah, so this one running. Um, that's not a good location, but we do have something we may run here in a minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was just trying to get it so they were tiered, but then it's not going to see it. Right back version of the first run. They don't. They didn't say they said they'll consider it, but not the first run. How about Genesis E9? Um, we may have Atherin back at some point to go over all the FAQs on all the other stuff. So right now we're trying to answer NS. Six SD sixty specific questions or yeah, questions yeah. on the DC on the DC yes, here too. Yeah, the the DCs are filling out. Um, if you haven't put in your pre order and you're excited about this model, the two go pretty good together. Yeah. So <laughs> I'd I'd recommend getting your orders in on it. And just uh, to show you guys, I set up for this event. Yeah. With, uh, with a little mini Spencer set up over here. But, um, well, you know what? There's so a nice road here. I was hinting here. accidentally. <laughs> it's like you knew somehow. And the minimum also, radius? Probably uh, 22 would be the most recommended. They're, they're advertised as being 18 inch, but yeah, 22 recommended for sure. The DC will have uh, LEDs. Again, like I said earlier, guys, if I missed your question, I'm sorry. I don't. Have really the ability to review all the questions. They're streaming in pretty quick, um, but the overall, if you have a question, you're a buying question, you want to answer, just keep asking it. Eventually, I'll probably see it. <laughs> copy paste, copy paste. Just don't, yeah, just don't to. get Facebook to lock you out. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> we also got some new of the plate trailers. And this is the only party right now for paint samples of the DCs. Uh, somebody suggested to do Spirit of Society DC later in CSX. Well, we do have some CSX stuff to show too. Yep. Oh, do you? Yep. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting but we brought a we brought out a few things just in case if uh, people want to see more and more and more. Yep. So we need kind of go over here. We're about 30 minutes in, so we still got some time to answer questions and show you guys some things. So, we make go. it easy for lock sound guys. Um, we are going to be offering the DCC ready models with a 21 pin, so you should just be able to plug it right in. There you go, CSX. Let's get, uh, excuse me, I'm going here to see this. I understand that. Um, yes, the 911 will be in the first release, as Craig says right there. I understand there's a lot of folks that are happy, a lot of folks that are sad. I get it. You know, different people, different strokes, different folks. You know, there's a, an NS niche on a niche, or however you say it, on the SD60E, but 
Hey, um, we, we, I mean, it was the same way for SP and tunnel motors. You yeah, know, yeah. SD45 tunnel motors were yes. SP only for a long time until they went out to other railroads. The, yeah. the GP40P-2. Right. Our UPs have gotten, our UP, us UP fans have gotten pretty much everything we've asked for, so <laughs> I'm not yeah. complaining. So here's your CSX PS44DC. And again, it's another early version. The flashing rear ditch lights, they're trying to figure out they may or may not have them. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. <laughs> I do the 911, but not the 6920 or go rail. They have to, they're going to phase things in so you're not killing wallets all at the same time. Precisely. Right. <laughs> Better get all the CSX you can. Won't let guy that runs it won't let you on the property anymore after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's the CSX. We also have another version of the CSX that oh. was kind of an intermediate one. It is CSX. Well, let's, let's get this guy out. All right. We can come back to this one later. All right. So. And then we also have, and and Ken, I think you you had a pre-order out on some of these ES44 DCs as well. So yeah, here's the. Um, yes, we also have the primer version of the NS. Yeah, this is the primer version of the CSX, and the the reason that they were in the primer was whenever they built these things. Uh, CSX and Norfolk Southern on their versions were uh, so hungry and so short on power that they just said, get them on the road so they do, don't rust. <laughs> yeah, put some reflective tape on them and yeah. send them out. Get them FRA compliant with the reflectors and the numbers and put them on the rails. So we've been able to replicate the, uh, the primer versions as well. And a, a, a neat bit of info or neat patch rather is uh, the uh, I believe I believe that's the air conditioner intake panel. I think, but uh, those for whatever reason were black. <laughs> so we've been we've replicated that as well. These two versions have the um, oh boy the, the GE high ad trucks. Hold on, guys! It's uh -oh. not a tier four Devo announcement. This is the DC ES44. <laughs> right. Not a tier four. Not a tier four. Announcement. The big announcement was the SD60. I knew that might happen if we pulled that off the <laughs> turntable because some people are joining the broadcast. Oh, okay. Big announcement is the uh, SD60E, but we're also going over the ES44DC um, stuff. So it's out in the weeds right now. Uh, we're kind of showing <laughs> off some different things that came in, including the plate wall trailers and. Uh, me being a little big for this manway here. <laughs> That's what I use to gauge when I need to hit the gym. Is like if I can't fit through certain areas. I guess I must have hit that quarter yeah. there. No, you're not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I can't get through. I used to be able to get through the back. I can't get through the back anymore. I'm like, I better hit the gym. <laughs> Uh, the Jivos here, these will come with uh, Tsunami 2 sound in them. Any non-locomotive announcements? Not today. Well, yeah. Or do we have some today? Oh, well, there you go. Those, those are the... Because these guys keep delivering. Yep. You play all trailers that are, are kind of going on your right away. Catherine's announcing road railers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Uh, just trailers. There, Heartland Express, Snyder. We just announced those on Friday, so feel free to drop by Atherin.com and uh, check out all the other new announcements that we have. Uh, and a pack of those. Uh, LEDs and Jivos? At this time, not yet. Um, and these will be delivered with incandescent bulbs. I see a request for the MPI MT36PH. Thank you for that. Thanks. 
I keep forgetting I'm operating two cameras. I just sit with one of them. Yeah, the, <laughs> the sweaty armpits is on F29, uh, I think. That's the left one. The right one's on F30. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Catherine's not making road railers. I shouldn't have made that joke. <laughs> yeah, go, James. I know some of you guys are just tuning in. So, again, SD60E and 911, first responders unit, plus a few others, the first run, and then other runs to come, perhaps. Here, I'll focus on there you go. <laughs> I can't be a helicopter pilot because you're going to have All right. two hands doing two different things. But yeah, uh, any other questions you guys have? Uh, we don't have the BNSF with us, but as soon as we can, we'll, we'll post some images of that. Well, somebody asked to see this again, or I'm just imagining it. Set it down. There we go. On the DCC ready, will it have the twenty one pin? The SD sixty E will have the twenty one pin motherboard. The uh, ES44 DCs will not have the 21 pin motherboard. Gotcha. Uh, here, this is not We're a kind of in a transition phase between the 21 pin and uh, the legacy connect connectors inside. But we are working towards the 21 pin goal. I'm in here. I will not be getting one of these that's here, nor will I. Uh, I'll probably end up ordering through train World, especially the 911 unit, because they would sell out. So. Uh, I'll put them on the rails and let's see, let's see what they look like. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's uh, yeah, line them up. We can actually, you guys are open to a little bit of movement. We can go over here so there's a little bit of scenery and stuff. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to step over under. Here. I'm going to prop this up right here for a second. So going, he's going to change the layout. We're going to set up a couple of uh, locomotives on here. So. All right, popped up on the other side here. And we'll bring Ken with us. Thanks, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody gets seasick or anything. I'm going to set you guys down for just a second. You have to look at my feet, which is horrible. I know. Hold on. All right. Just adjusting screen here. All right. There we go. Pretty much lost in. Um, all right, I'm going to move some trees here. So we got a good view. What's going on? There we go. There you have the 60E, a little bit of scenery. You want to call it that? And then, uh, ES44 DC in the back. Oh yeah, oh it's there. I thought something was up. But yeah. So there's the NS lash up for everyone on the train world feed. Oh, you guys wanted to see it running? Here you go. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Reverse, yeah. choo choo. There you go. That's a uh, LW sound there. Proprietary 050 uh, switcher power there. Yeah. Any extra detail parts? No, these come fully assembled. Yeah. Um, uh, what detail parts would they be interested in? No, just in case uh, of accidents. <laughs> okay, oh, sure. oh, like replacement parts? Yeah. We'll, yes. We'll some replacement parts to support future models, these and future models. Uh, keep in mind that also some of these parts, such as like the rubber air hoses we're working on to, to offer as a, a 
a replacement part. So then you fix it once and you will not won't have to fix it again. Any plans for SD forty E locomotives in the future? SD forty E? Yeah. By the way, they call it nine one one, not nine eleven. I think NS is kind of picky about that. Yep, they okay. are. Thank you for that point. These aren't working samples, they're just uh, our deco samples for now. Yeah, the JLWI 2000 decoder doesn't come with user uploadable sound, so you guys can tear that one apart too. Scratching the crap out of the body. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, they call it Republican gamers, but it's <laughs> like the, uh, the graphics are probably bigger than the video editor. Right. Yeah. So we have Photo Edge Force Edge kick plate. It is molded in the plastic hand rest, so it's not Photo Edge, but it is there. Uh, minimum radius is a 22. 22 inch. Well, yeah. Well, we do have a bit of a surprise still. Um, this is. Um, whoop, whoop. Sorry, guys. This is the unpainted sample still, but it shows items. Sorry. Okay. Shows items like the PTC antenna array. So we do have it. It's not a myth. <laughs> and there is your horse heads in the walkway kick plate. So, and that this version has the EMD 3900 gallon fuel tank. Show you guys real quick. There you go, horse heads in the walkway. Yeah, this, this sample was put together also just to continue fit and finish and testing of the test shot. So you can see this one, the, the cab roof fits a little bit better than the other one. So we are diligently working on the cab roof fit. The SD60Es have LED headlights. What's the minimum uh, curve? Uh, recommended 22 inch. And that's radius, yes. Yeah, you can show that a little better on the unpainted one, James, how, how well it fits. Those are gliding down my track now. <laughs> that's my uh, waterfall. With real authentic waterfall sounds. about putting a waterfall right there just to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna see about coming back around here. All right. So yeah, you guys can see a little better. Sorry, Sorry real quick. guys. Got the That's scrapper. the correct hood slant and everything. All right. Yep. All right. I'm gonna go to this this side too because right. I want to show off something. So, so, so I'm kind of pigeonholed here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. I think what I'm gonna do is sorry, train world crew. We're trying to shuffle around. 
No problem. <laughs> Trying to see everything. Uh, any more of your viewers have any questions, Ken? Uh, they just wanted to know a little bit more about the CSX in the primer. Okay. I guess uh, what exactly the paint scheme was or uh, that's before it was painted? Yeah, that's how it came out of the uh, GE locomotive facility. Um, when the, they uh, finished those, CSX was so short on power that uh, they just said, ship them to us before you paint them. We need them now. So they just put primer on them, put numbers on them, and uh, reflective safety tape, and put them on the rails for service. And uh, whenever CSX had time, then they repainted them into the, the blue uh, uh, paint scheme that you see on number 5200 there. So this is uh, early, right out of the factory. Um, I'm not sure. I guess about a year they probably lasted like this. Uh, but, it looks uh, nice. Uh, you want me to pull that one out for you, Matt? Uh, yeah, why don't you pull it out and bring it down here so that Ken's viewers can get it. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of shuffling around here. So there's the primer one for the Train World Group. The, uh, the black spot or the black uh, access panel on the cab, uh, all the research indicates that that is there. So I guess just whatever that panel was for was just painted black that day at the shop. So hmm. it is supposed to be like that based on our research for 5224. Very cool. We haven't got to the PTC in black yet. That'll be in a future one. Trying to prop this guy, so just bear with me. Using one of your uh, your trees, aquarium trees. Yep. <laughs> Chinese fifty cent specials on eBay. That's not gonna work. I'll just. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we have a tornado. Uh, hey, 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 easy with the mission. We are, we are in Omaha. Are we? It's a cool shot. Cool shot. Let's get these guys out here, too. So, one more. Can I shuffle all the way to the other? Yeah. Or actually, I'll be in his way. And for the train world group, there's the SD60E again. Very nice. Very nice. So you want to see us right here? Yeah. And that one's nice. <laughs> Congrats on employing Michael J. Fox as your cameraman. <laughs> Oh, you guys. That was pretty funny. Sorry. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Gotta love my audience. There's some uh, comedians in there. Oh, I think that's it. <laughs> James, you're getting a lot of praise on our uh, comments. They say, oh, really? keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks. I got a tougher audience on mine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's weird. Let me try settings. Scroll down. Well, mm -hmm. let 
try to let's see if we can stage this. I'm going to bring up the. Oops, sorry. I was going to do something with the 60E. Oh, did you need this? No. Sorry, I didn't know you were pointing at it. Hold on. I'll leave it for now. I was going to like uh, need it further up. Yeah, just. I'd say right. Nose to nose. Oh, okay. Nose to nose. CSX. There. Okay. Where's your NS here? So the LEDs, yes, Josie. Any chance of unpowered units? Not unpowered, probably. Uh, we only offer almost power. Yeah, no, no unpowered. Look, well, Chris is about to get a haircut. Darn, he was close. <laughs> we feel the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Those are not tier fours, those are uh, DCG builds. Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, I was going to, I was going to leave that. Gonna, oh, sorry. I'll put the 60E on here. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead and take it. I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up with the PPC antenna one. All right, we're going to get something set up here. For you guys, just for some eye candy of sorts. Actually, I need to show that. There we go. Yes, we'll definitely be considering an AC4400 in Genesis. Yeah, All right, Train World, some eye candy for you. Very nice. 60E on the turntable. Also notice we have see through steps on the 60. If anyone hasn't seen James' videos, definitely check it out. The best HO scale videos in the hobby. Thanks, Ken. Uh, Jason, the trailer and the two packs, I believe the trailers will be singles. Right, Chris? Yes. Yes, Jason, the trailers will be singles. They look ever good. Fit as good up close as they do. Uh, Billy, we're always considering new road names in Reading and Northern. We'll put it on the list for you. Going a little dance here for a second. Uh, Thomas Bates, uh, SD70 ACU, uh, definitely under consideration. Um, just got to see what the future holds. Jeremy Warner, uh, 80 Max, uh, same thing with the yes, SD70 ACU. It's just all, everything's under consideration at this point. Minimum radius, Joseph, of the SD60E, uh, we recommend 22 inches. Uh, Joe Leonard, uh, the B units, uh, SD40-2B, SD45-2B, um, again, under consideration, uh, everything's on the table at this point. It's centered here. It's going to be able to turn that there a little bit. Uh, Brandon Peck, a new types of freight car. You got ideas? Uh, drop us a line. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on just a second. Grant Paget, LNN units. Um, we'll add it to the list. Uh, which ones? Lucas, the sound decoder for the SD60E is the Tsunami 2 by Soundtracks. About a Florida East Coast GP40. Uh, GP40 or GP40-2? GP40 in 100 years with the Florida East Coast Speedway. 
Um, we'll have to uh, do a little research uh, to make sure that we can do that or not because we have the GP40-2. Gotcha. So GP40s, like I said, everything's on the table at this point. We're considering any locomotive. How about GP40-2 U.S. Army? Uh, send us some information on it. Drop us a line. Uh, this is going to go on forever. <laughs> uh, Billy, the SD40E, um, we're considering it. We're looking at our options with our current SD50 model. Um, we just have to see uh, what the tooling will allow and uh, if it's in the cards at this time. So uh, we've got it on the list. We just have to see how things play out. Uh, Brandon, where to call? Um, I need to uh, verify that. Um, uh, my name is Matt. Why don't you just send me an email at that is M Gentry, G E N T R Y, at athern.com. Uh, uh, Brandon, I'm not sure. I'm I'm holding James's phone here. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> Dustin, another run of SD60s and tri window SD60Ms. Uh, again, everything's being considered. I'm going to hand it back to James now. It's his phone. <laughs> what was the question? Oh, just questions about anything. He was wanting something typed. He was wanting my email address typed so he could contact me. Oh, okay. Hey, guys, the, um, the phone doesn't have the stability control. It's like a really crappy phone. It doesn't have the stability control that my YouTube camera has, and I'm a shaky guy, so I don't do a lot of detailed ECC installs and stuff. I have done some, so I apologize for the wobble and stuff. But uh, it's a uh, it's a phone, and it's a little bit more hard to stabilize. Uh, Craig, what was that you asked? So uh, webcam is kind of the same way. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, Matt, a uh, couple of requests here. CPAC 4400, Florida East Coast ES44, a Sounder passenger car, um, Athern, Florida East Coast ES44, or ETC44. I'm sorry, Matt. All right. No, uh, I heard most of that, Ken. Um, like I said, everything's on the table at this point. Um, uh, AC 4400s, uh, definitely looking into that. Uh, not sure um, about it right now, uh, but definitely in the consideration. Thanks, thanks. Got a little surprised with P40Q. Well, Craig, we'll leave modest yet to you. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Uh, a lot of us are too. Got some great stuff coming up. Thank you. 
Sorry, guys, I had to get my charger real quick. Um, over some of the questions. So let's see. Uh, uh, Jeff, 6920 is not in this first announcement, but look for it on the future announcements. We will be doing it. Appreciate your guys' comments. Uh, in a slug units, so that's up to happen. Uh, Craig, the 6920 is the veteran unit. Let's see, I'm going to change train all to some other scenery here. Just a moment. Mike, we will definitely be at the Kansas City NMRA. Bye, Craig. <laughs> All right. Uh, get that in the scene here. Uh, have we announced G Genesis GP38 2s in Penn Central? Chris, yes. Chris? Yes, we did. Uh, idea on when they're coming out? Uh, I think it's uh, June. There's some scenery. Uh, the DC. For train Penn World. Central, I think that's uh, June uh, next year. Uh, NS Top Hats, yes, we'd love to do those. about a U50. Jeff, plans for the 9043 Max? Um, done, right? yeah. Definitely considering yeah. it. Uh, there's it a lot of new stuff if it's the coming out of Norfolk Southern, Southern, so anything's on the table. The U50C. Yeah, well, we'll consider that. Thank you for that suggestion. Oh, good stuff. The, um, awesome, good news, Larry. Try, try, sol try Slops 3 uh, window cab version, 6060M. I'm sorry, James. They're asking about a, a the SD60M Triclops uh, three window cab version. It's definitely on the table. I mean, we just announced the SD60E, so never know. Let's see, try to catch up on some of these comments. So far, Train World has it listed, but no numbers yet. All oh, Genesis dash nines. We'd love to do that. Um, undecorated. They said they're considering it, Jeremy. You guys are just joining us again. Announcement is for the NS SD sixty E. Great, Larry. We'll see you there. It's uh. I will be there, and uh, Craig Walker will be there also. Craig's in there. Uh, yeah, he just hiked the budget. Just so everybody knows, we're at about an hour and five minutes, which means it's Mike, probably close to product? wrap up time. Mike, here. the new product is the NS SD60E. There's a unpainted sample. And maybe here's the painted sample of the SD60E. This is the first painted sample. This is hand painted. This is the first test shots assembled also. So a little, a few tweaks and ticks and flaws in it. Uh, we're working all of those out. Well, guys, it's been about an hour and uh, five minutes. It's getting close to wrap up time. I want to uh, thank Atherin for coming down. And I want to thank uh, Train World also for sharing Adam, both, uh, the information both, uh, as well. The locomotive so thank you, Ken. Thank you, James. But, but I appreciate it. Um, we, uh, Thanks, Jeff. Thank We're doing our best. Thank you, guys, to everyone. Hey, thank you for being a part of it, everybody, for coming and checking out our Thanks, announcement. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Train World. Thanks. James. Thank you, guys. No, it's not been uh, conventional exactly with all these cameras. <laughs> And um, we will wrap this up here, at least on uh, Facebook Live for me. And uh, again, thanks, Ken. And uh, somebody was asking, Ken, do you guys have uh, orders? Do you have it on your website, but they don't have numbers specified? It. Um, so I'm sure once we after an announcement comes out, Train Room will have it on their website with the numbers specified. So that should answer that question. We'll and, go uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep, well, and we appreciate you guys. Yeah, so, uh, frozen thanks. here on the after Facebook page. We really want to. That's it for us. We've been. We'll see ya.
So thanks, James. All right. Take care. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. Well, I just want to thank everyone very much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. And um, I had a great time. We were in James' basement, and it was a first. We had three live cameras going all at once. Uh, we're trying something new in the train industry and something different. So we're excited. Uh, hopefully, it kind of gets the exposure out there for model trains and helps our industry. But uh, we definitely thanks James and Athern for uh, having our uh, our camera there. So we really appreciate that. And uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, some special pricing and uh, everything up for you guys. So thank you so much and take care, guys. Thank you. Bye now.